Hey guys, it's your boy, we back with more Mall Fujivite content and today we are taking a look at some really nice comparison between these three characters. Actually, yeah, between three but two of them actually swap characters which is Makari and this these. Uh, all of these characters have rages, exactly the same builds actually, slightly different from Shuri I think is the only one that doesn't have any owner's blessings. We have about like 8 to 10 owner's blessings on this girl, we have about I think 7 or 8 on this and Shuri doesn't have any because we'll just be using her for the swap play with Makari. This is how the build looks like for Shuri, so I'm gonna go through this and then it is just the level 80 Gamora for this uh, uh, for this comparison and tier 4 is gonna be incredible uh, so it's just insane Makari also uh, has been in the game for a long time I also actually had the same build for because basically like every ever since I changed it to Rage because she was so good in ABX but apart from the paralyzed season she kind of uh, is not that good in other seasons so you need Shuri to cancel this is how Gamora's uh, uh, kit looks like the only thing changed right now is I think gonna be the rotation with a CDP of age, uh, age, yeah, CDP of age. Uh, so as we talked in the previous videos about the mini rage obelisk rotations, which I thought that you could basically spam, it is spam. So we're gonna start off with three cancel, five delay cancel, one delay cancel into the five. It does some nice damage into the second skill and first you can go two cancel one or you can go uh, one cancel two i don't think it makes a big difference but you can try both with the transcend skill again instant cancel into three four one five get some extra proc and then maybe one cancel two or two cancel one it doesn't really matter uh, i tried both and they kind of ended up uh, getting the same score the only thing is that the rotation is very tight and you can trigger your proc early sometimes which can be an issue for gamora but apart from that it's also okay we get 50 percent freaking chain hits there is one more thing about chain hit about the uh, support like uh, white fox actually is insane and like it, it's kind of really weird and it's very uh, cr it's really crazy because we will be using this team up uh, for this run. White Fox only gives the uh, gives the leadership allies all this passive, but with the uniform passive we get extra fifteen percent attack and ten percent chain hit. These ten percent chain hit are incredible for Gamora and she does insanely well. Even actually sometimes more than the Valkyrie team up. So. Although, by the way, I made a mistake in this run because I mistakenly used Valkyrie instead of Shuri. Uh, they gave exactly the same buff. Ignore dodge doesn't really matter in ABX anymore. They took out the dodge anyways. The only differentiator is that we have the 4-star artifact of Valkyrie. Uh, that's the only difference. So maybe you can cut down about two or 300k from the score. That's all. Apart from that, the whole buff and everything is going to be same. The first thing, it is the burn season, sadly for Makari. Because Makari with a CDP or Rage on Paralyzed Season actually scores 12 million. Yes, uh, very easy cap. You can just solo play this character and you can score 12 million in ABX on the Paralyzed Season. But apart from the Paralyzed Season, if you are playing her on Silence or Burn, she does not have Silence or Burn. So you have to use Shuri as the swap play to cancel the rowers and of course deal some extra damage. And that's uh, how what actually we are going to be doing. In this run as well you're using shuri and swap play with makari uh burn season and silence both are kind of really weird for this team up because the roars are actually uh you know quick i would say i should say and you can have a hard time with cancelling sometimes with shuri because shuri's burn on the fifth skill applies very late and you have to have the fourth skill or the fifth skill ready when he comes out of iframe to rower and everything so you have to take care about a bunch of stuff it's really comes down to the timing it's really hard sometimes and honestly i'm very happy that gamora is here to be able to score pretty high and i should tell you right now level 80 gamora is insane in uh, alliance battle which you will see after this run so, but like if you're still using this team up this is probably one of the best ways to play this uh you know this combo and whatever it is so that's how it goes but you gotta try and you know I, I don't know you just gotta try to you know delay the rowers if you don't delay the rower then it, it can be an issue for you you have 9 million uh, so absolutely we're not gonna be able to score 12 million we'll cancel this thing 
and make sure to not use the tier 3 skill of Shuri when sometimes you know she comes out of iframe. You can try it out but I've tried it before and the score kind of is lower. I don't know for what reason because uh, on the other you know on the other rotations you don't actually have the tier 3 skill ready afterwards so that can be an issue sometimes but it's okay once you get used to it it's uh, pretty easy shuri is the mvp by the way she has been in the game for a long time i actually have been using her in alliance battle legend as well alliance battle extreme as well basically every seasons and everything so it kind of has been awesome with shuri and with the makari swap it all has been insane but the bad fact or the bad thing is that uh, unless you have a mighty rage on Shuri or maybe Makari, the swap play doesn't score. Uh, it, it's actually hard to score over 7 million with this swap play. Normal rages, of course, you have to have some really good base attack, physical attack, which my attack is very low. I only have about 73-74% total physical attack on my cards without any physical attack proc because I need to still put the white fox card. But anyways, we are able to get just over 11 million with this character uh, with this team up of course like maybe add 100k now the gamora team up now again as i said i used valkyrie instead of shuri so that can be improved level 80 gamora with a cdp of rage so she's incredible she's insane and i love the fact that she's super easy to use and one more thing she's very 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 consistent with the proc it's a it's a rage proc and usually you expect rage to kind of throw itself off or something but it doesn't happen with gamora at all every single time you will get the proc where you want and sometimes there are actually early procs which is really weird because cdp of rage giving early procs is a very rare phenomenon and it doesn't actually happen with most of the characters in the game so i'm quite happy that at least there is there is some character in the game that Either using a CDB of energy, rage, whatever, you still get to have some awesome proc timings and consistency. Now, I think I did make a mistake here. I think I should have increased my score. I could have increased my score right here. But the fact was that I, I don't know why I did not kill that mob. Because the more waves you kill in ABX, the more points you make. Same thing, just like Loki. That's why Loki scores so higher because of the wave clears and if you can clear more waves basically more points instead of or apart from the damage that you're dealing mobs are a big part of this thing the good thing uh, here is that no swap play basically now i have not tried maybe if you you know if you don't have any other option you maybe you can also try the gamora and shuri swap play maybe i have not given it a shot because I don't think I was gonna, I was able to actually cap this run. But you can see the score is gonna be uh, much higher and way higher for the level 80 here. Because we are really close to 10 million. So absolutely, she is dominating. It's level 80. The build is still very weak. I can add more Odin's blessings. I can absolutely, I'm not sure how much the type enhancement is gonna help. But it might help clearing the mobs faster, a bit faster maybe. And uh, with better attacks and everything, it's still, again, it's going to be insane. So we are over 10 million, 10.3 million. And it is pretty strong. Looking good. We get one more rotation in before he goes for the rover. That's good. Sadly, we could not get any more damage in. But that's all right. 10.4 million and easy peasy cancel. So I'm pretty happy, you know, that Gamora is here. Sadly, I made big mistakes here. As you can see, the meteorite bar. Uh, I got hit by the meteorite a lot, so I think I lost about a 100k score right there. It can make a big difference when you have it maxed out, you get extra point. So absolutely that could have made a 100k difference for sure. But we are about 11.4 right now, I'm gonna use Gamora and we go here and make almost 11.5. Even if it was not Valkyrie's 4 shard effect, you can still get about 11.2, 11.3. Gamora level 80 solo beats the swap play and it's just level 80. She can go to level, uh, she can go to tier 4. So she's very, very strong. I just hope, fingers crossed, that she's also this OP, this good in uh, World, uh, Alliance Battle Legend. So basically, if you have a better physical attack than me, Gamora can score 12 million at level 80 with ease. Let me know what you think about the video. Let me know what you think about Gamora. And as always, if you do enjoy the content, 
I hope to see you again. Take care. I'll see you all in the next one.